Incredible? <laughs> Not as incredible as... I'm very drunk. Hi everyone, this is Athol from Yesterday's Heroes, and today I'm going to answer some viewer questions, which all basically boil down to... In this video, I'll be giving a broad overview of how I put together the 2D animated web series Yesterday's Heroes. The key ingredients are characters, which are 2D vector images, backgrounds, which are 3D models that we ink in 2D, and sounds, which I guess is pretty obvious. We combine them in After Effects to make each scene and then edit them together in Adobe Premiere. Let's start with backgrounds. The sets are all full 3D models made in Blender, which makes it easy to generate the different camera angles. Once your camera angle is decided, we render the scene, add an ink outline using the pen tool in Illustrator, which gives a sort of cartoony feel. We also render the backgrounds in multiple layers so that characters can be positioned in front of or behind the furniture. <laughs> That's backgrounds, and now let's talk about characters. The characters are 2D vector images drawn in Illustrator and separated into layers based on body parts. You can see here we have an upper arm layer, a forearm layer, a hand layer, and so on. The different layers will allow us to animate the character, which we'll get to in a minute. First, I just want to highlight all the different mouth and eye layers you see here, which are used for facial expressions and lip syncing. Basically, we just switch between these ready-made expressions to make it look like our characters have facial expressions. Now let's see what all of this looks like in After Effects. You can see on the left we have all the layers for the different body parts, but now I've set up relationships between them. So the forearm is connected to the upper arm, which is connected to the torso, and so on. Once those relationships are established, we use the Duik library to turn the character into a puppet. Now I can just grab a hand and move it about, and the whole arm responds appropriately. Do you remember all those mouth and eye layers from before? I've moved them into pre-comps, with time remapping enabled, so you can easily choose which one you want in any given frame, without having to show and hide a dozen layers every time. The beauty of animating on a computer, aside from the undo key, is keyframe interpolation. Now instead of animating every frame myself, I just specify a few key frames, and After Effects will blend, or interpolate, everything in between. In this example, I've specified four different positions for the hand, but when we play the animation, the in-between frames are calculated automatically. Now let's talk about putting a shot together. Each shot is a separate composition in After Effects, and here's one I prepared earlier. You can see I've added the background layers, the characters, and I've positioned everyone accordingly. And because the characters are all vector-based, we can scale them up or down to fit the scene with no loss of quality. I then add all the dialogue clips, spacing them just so for optimal comic timing. Now the scene is ready to animate. We move all the dialogue into the appropriate character's composition, which is where we'll do all the lip syncing, facial expressions, hand movements, and so on. Once that's done for each character, we go back to the main scene composition and deal with all the bigger character movement like walking, being dropped, or falling off a chair. <laughs> the shots are exported to separate video files, which we edit together in Premiere. So you see here we have two videos, the angle on Dora and the angle on Chuck. Here's what they look like separately. No auditions at all. Giving up. The market's super tough. Have you considered? Worth exploring, but not what I was going to say. And now here's what they look like when you edit them together. No auditions at all. The market's super tough. Have you considered? Giving up. Worth exploring, but not what I was going to say. The music and background sounds are also added in Premiere because they often span scenes or need to continue uninterrupted as we cut between different shots. In this scene, you see Pumbaa's telling his joke the whole time while we're cutting between Dora and Bud's drunken posse. Once that's all done, you've got yourself an episode. Yes, it's a little more complex and time consuming than that, but you get the picture. Links to everything I've discussed can be found in the video description, and if you have any questions, leave us a comment. 
Finally, if you haven't seen it yet, you should do yourself a favour and check out Yesterday's Heroes. Is that the show that was based on a candy? 